Hello everyone, this is Stephen Balch, your instructor for Computer Applications Online at Ozarka College. Uh, in this part two video for PowerPoint Module 3, I'm going to take you through the steps on pages PPT 3-26 to 3-39. Alright, uh, specifically in this uh, particular part of the module, we're going to learn how to insert some slides into our presentation from another presentation okay and it talks about this process on pages 3-26 and 3-27 in your book uh, so uh, what you'll need to do before you can actually insert the slides from the other presentation of course you'll need to download uh, the uh, data file the the presentation um, from Miles Arca, from the activities page in Miles Arca. Okay, so if you haven't already done that, you'll need to do that first. Once you have that downloaded, then we're ready to go through the steps to import uh, the slides from that presentation into our existing presentation that we're working on. Okay, all right. So at this point, we've created the two slides in the presentation. Uh, one of them has a pie chart here, and the other one has a table. All right. What we're going to do is insert two slides from that other presentation. All right. So on page 3-27, we need to click the Home tab up on the ribbon. And we need to click the New Slide arrow right here. Okay. And click the new slide arrow and, and towards the bottom, or actually at the bottom of that new slide drop down box, um, you'll see a command called reuse slides. And that's what you'll need to click on. Okay. When you click on reuse slides, you're going to see a reuse slides task pane appear on the right edge of the screen. And what you're going to need to do is click the browse button. And then you're going to need to, in the browse dialog box that opens, you're going to need to navigate to the folder where you save that data file, uh, the presentation data file, all right, from Miles Arca. So um, I'm going to find mine here where I saved it. And so you just navigate to. Uh, the file and it's called support ppt3 reuse okay and again it's available uh, under the resources heading on this assignment page for uh, powerpoint module 3 assignment 1 all right so um, you can just click on it and then click open and then it will show the two slides that are part of that presentation over in the task pane over on the right right side and then what we're going to do on page two or three dash twenty eight, we're going to right click either slide thumbnail over here in the task pane. So just right click on either one of these little thumbnails for that presentation that we're importing. And we're gonna click on insert all slides on the shortcut menu that appears. Alright, and it'll insert those two slides and then you can go ahead and cl uh, click the close button for the task pane uh, to close out of that because we don't need it anymore. Alright, so we've got our other two slides added. You notice what it does is it adds those other two slides uh, in the presentation um, based on whatever slide you had selected uh, in the presentation to start with. Um, so what we're going to need to do next is move to slide sorter view so that we can reorganize the slides the way that we need them. All right. So to go to slide sorter view, you're going to look down on the status bar on the right side of the status bar where you see the view buttons. You'll notice there's a normal view button, which is what that's the view that we're in right now. That's the default view in PowerPoint. Uh, what we need to do is click on the slide sorter uh, view button, which is to the right of the normal view button. So we're going to click on that and slide sorter view just as the name implies is basically a view that we can use to sort 
our slides and make sure they're in the correct order, which definitely comes in handy when you're taking slides from another presentation and inserting them into an existing presentation. All right, so what we need to do first is uh, we need to, this slide right here that has the picture on it, the picture of the computer on it, needs to be slide one in the presentation. So we're going to drag that uh, thumbnail and move it into position one. Okay, so it needs to be the first slide in our presentation. All right, and then this slide right here that, that has the title Control Your Exposure to Light that needs to be slide two in the presentation and you you can look at the picture on the top of page 3-30 in your book to see what the correct order should be alright so we're gonna move this control your exposure to light slide and make it slide two alright so the basic order should be the, the slide one should be the um, slide that has the picture of the computer on it slide two should be the slide that has the title control your exposure to light uh, slide three should be the slide with the pie chart on it, and then slide four should be the slide with the table on it. All right, so just make sure you have that correct order, okay? Because it's real easy to get them out of order, um, and uh, that will uh, make your presentation incorrect at the end. So uh, just make sure that you have the correct order. All right, once we have the correct order, uh, we are now ready to format these two slides uh, in our presentation that we just uh, inserted from the other presentation. All right. So on the bottom of page 3-30, it wants us to delete the picture on slide one. So um, what we're going to do first, though, before we do that, is click on the Normal View button uh, down on the status bar. It tells us to do that, by the way, on step four on the top of page 3-30. So we're going to click on the normal view button because we, remember, we switched to slide sorter view so that we could organize our slides. And now that we're done with that, uh, we should switch back to normal view. So I just, um, all you do is just click the normal view button down on the status bar and that returns you to normal view. And then what we're going to do is, again, click on slide one that has the picture on it. And we're going to click the picture on the slide to select it. And then we're going to press the delete key on our keyboard to delete the picture. Okay, because we don't need it. That was just a, a picture um, from that other presentation that we no longer need for this presentation. All right, so we got rid of the picture. And now with slide one displaying, we're going to click uh, insert up on the ribbon to go to the insert tab and then we're going to click the pictures button because we're going to insert the picture that we actually do want for this presentation all right and in the insert picture dialog box we're going to navigate to where we saved uh, the data files for this assignment so i'm going to navigate to my data files And the picture is called uh, Support PPT3 Bed. All right. So you're going to find that file, click on it, and click Insert. And it will insert it in the middle of the slide, just kind of floating over the slide. And then what we want to do, obviously, it's way too small right now uh, as it is. And so we're going to need to resize it. And it gives you the dimensions that you need to resize to on Step 4. Uh, on page 3-31. So uh, we're going to make sure the picture is selected. Go up to the height box on the picture tools format tab. Just like we've done before to resize pictures and shapes. You basically do it the same way. You're going to type the uh, height in as 7. So you're going to type 7 in the height box and then press tab to move down to the width box. You're going to type in 11.23 as the width and then press enter and it will uh, size the picture and then it says use the smart guides to move the picture to the center of the slide as shown uh, in figure 3-52 alright so um, we're going to drag the picture back up so that it's 
on the slide. You may have to do it several times to get it back up there. All right. Just keep working with it till you get it. You may have to zoom out on your um, on your uh, on your screen to uh, be able to get the picture back up on the slide because it tends to kind of move it below the slide uh, when you insert and and uh, a picture that's small and then size it fairly large like we did. All right. So just uh, get it back up on the slide, and then what you need to do once you get it on the slide is go ahead, just like the instructions say, use the smart guides, uh, the vertical and horizontal smart guides to position the picture directly in the middle of the, or the center of the slot, okay? Just like that. All right, and once we have that done, then on the bottom of page 3-31, uh, it talks about cropping a picture. Um, cropping a picture is where you remove parts of the picture that you don't want. Okay, what we want to do specifically is take out uh, some of the white space above the person's head, and then some white space to the right of uh, the person's arm, okay, or hand. All right, and so uh, to crop, all we're going to do is make sure the picture is selected, and then click the crop button up here on the um, picture tools format tab and what will happen is you'll see little cropping handles appear um, everywhere where there's a sizing handle around the uh, picture and then what we're going to do is we're going to position the pointer over the center cropping handle on the top of the picture and the cropping handles are the little black uh, bars there around the uh, picture there uh, and we're going to again point to the one that's in the center uh, top portion of the picture and we're going to drag that cropping handle down uh, until uh, we're right just a little bit above the person's head and you'll have to kind of look at the picture on the bottom picture on page 3-32 in your book to kind of see uh, how far down we need to crop the uh, or drag the cropping handle okay so just drag it down uh, to the position that you see it there in the uh, in the picture there on page 3-32 all right, and you, you don't have to get it exact, but get it as close as you can. I may need to move mine just a little bit more. There we go. Just a little bit above the person's head. And then um, you're going to point to the sizing handle. On the right edge, the center uh, right edge uh, cropping handle, uh, you're going to drag that one inward until it's in the position that you see it there on the picture on page 3-32. All right, just a little bit to the right of the person's hand. About right there, okay? And then just kind of look uh, at the picture there on the bottom of page 3-32 and make sure you've got it uh, cropped correctly there. Um, that gray out, that gray area is what's going to be cropped out of the picture. So just make sure that yours looks like the picture there on page 3-32. And then once you've made sure that you've cropped uh, the correct amount of the picture, um, what you're going to do is click on the crop button again to actually remove that part of the picture uh, and um, kind of cut it away from the picture. All right. So we've got our cropped picture now uh, with those areas removed that we selected. All right, our next step on, on page 3-33 is it wants us to do some adjusting to the picture colors, things like color saturation and color tone uh, and so forth. So uh, if, you, if you don't already know some of those terms, you'll need to kind of read through that. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do to this picture uh, as far as the color of it is we're going to make sure the picture is selected we're going to click the color button uh, in the adjust group of the picture tools format tab so that's right over here the color button we're going to click on that and it'll open up the color gallery 
of all the various color uh, options that we have and in your book on the picture on the bottom of page 3-34 it points to the correct uh, color tone that we want to apply which is the very first one under the color tone category all right so it's temperature it's called temperature 4700k all right so you're going to click on that color tone option uh, button all right and then uh, we're going to on page 3-35 it wants us to add an artistic effect to the picture so with the bed picture still selected we're going to click the artistic effects button which is directly to the right of the color button that we just used in the adjust group all right so we're going to click on our artistic effects that'll bring up the artistic effects gallery and in that gallery we're going to point to the uh, artistic effect called cross uh, crisscross etching which is the third thumbnail in the fourth row all right it's that one right there all right so use your screen tip to make sure you're on the right one and then click on crisscross etching all right so it'll add that effect and then on page 3-36 wants us to change the picture softness so with the bed picture still selected, we're going to um, click the corrections button, which is to the left of the color button that we used earlier. So we're going to click on corrections. That'll bring up the corrections gallery. And on the corrections gallery, we want to point to and click on um, the option that is called soften 50%, all right, which is the first thumbnail in the sharpen soften row so right up here the very first one under sharpen and soften alright so we're gonna click on soften 50 percent alright and once we have that done on page 3-37 wants us to apply a picture style so with slide one uh, the slide one picture still selected we're going to click the more button for in the uh, picture styles gallery so right here this little down arrow to the right of the picture styles gallery here we're going to click on that to open up the entire gallery and the one that we want to select here is called bevel all right it is actually it's called bevel perspective it's called bevel perspective it's this one right here it's on the second row in the gallery all right so just use your screen tip to make sure you're on the right one click on bevel perspective all right then on the bottom of page 3-37 it wants us to size the picture again all right so with the picture still selected um, we're going to click the shape height box right up here and type in 5.5 .5. All right, and then just press enter and it will change the height uh, of the picture to five and a half inches there and it'll change the width uh, enough to uh, keep the the proportion of the picture all right and then it wants us to move the picture to the center to the center of the slide just like we did earlier before we added all of the formatting and, and uh, sized it again so we're going to use the smart guide just like we did before to move the picture to the center of the slide so use your horizontal and vertical smart guide where those two intersect in the middle of the slide is where you need to position the picture there all right and then on page 3-39 it wants us to align the the picture uh, with the slide so with the picture selected in the picture tools format tab displaying wants us to click the align button up here on, in the arrange group of the picture tools format tab So we're gonna click on align and then on the align uh, menu we're gonna click on align top alright align top alright 
And the reason that we're doing that is because here in a few minutes, we're going to add some word art to the bottom of that slide. So we needed to have room uh, for that uh, word art text. Okay, and so we've aligned the picture at the top there. All right, so at this point, you'll need to just kind of double check everything, make sure that you have all the formatting correct on your slides and that the slides are in the correct order, just like we talked about earlier. You'll want to go ahead and click the Save button to save the changes that we've made to the presentation. And that concludes this uh, part two video for PowerPoint Module 3. In the last video, which will be part three, I will take you through the remaining pages of PowerPoint Module 3. So I will see you in the next video. Thank you.